Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I had done a Grown Alchemist product review video like two years ago and I noticed that it still gets a lot of views. So I actually wanted to do a better version of that video. I didn't do a good job on that video. So I wanted to do an upgraded version and I've also used many more Grown Alchemist products. So I can talk about so many more. I think I have used, let's see, 12. I have used 12 Grown Alchemist products and I'm gonna talk about all 12 in this video. I don't have them all here, so I will put pictures as appropriate, but I am going to dive in. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink Grapefruit and Glucominon Extract. It looks like this. And this is probably my favorite product of theirs that I have ever used. This and their cream cleanser, which I'll talk about next, but this is amazing. It is like a cream cleanser with exfoliating, physical exfoliators inside of it. So that's what the product is like. That's a general description. As far as the smell, something that Grown Alchemist does that I find is a little confusing sometimes is the description of the product, like pink grapefruit. It doesn't smell like pink grapefruit to me at all. There is patchouli in this and I feel like patchouli just kind of takes over so it's a very musky scent you have to like patchouli to like this product it, it also sometimes I've described it as smelling like a really nice expensive incense type smell very herbal very botanical as well but the primary smell in this is the patchouli so keep that in mind if you're exploring this product and then otherwise the cleanser part of it is like a cream cleanser and then it has the exfoliating beans this is a wonderful product it retails for $67, so wow, it better be. And then next is a product I don't have here with me. It's their cream cleanser. I would describe it just like this, the exfoliator, except for without the beads. So cream cleansers are great if you're like me and you have dry skin. So I really, really enjoy that product as well. And then the next product is one that I don't have with me here either. It is the body cream, mandarin and rosemary leaf. So that was an excellent body cream. As a lotion, it felt great. I personally just don't like the scent of mandarin and orange products. They often tend to smell like creamsicle, which for some reason turns me off. I don't know. I have found that anything creamsicle is kind of a no-go for me. But if you like that scent, that would be a great product for you. A lot of people do really, really like that body cream. Same thing goes for the next product I'm going to talk about. It is one of their hand creams. It is their vanilla and orange peel hand cream. Excellent hand cream, but it smelled like creamsicle to me. So I passed it on to a friend who just loves this stuff. And then the next product is one that I have here with me. I found this one at TJ Maxx. So you can score a grown alchemist at TJ Maxx. It was pretty amazing when I saw it, or actually my husband, my husband saw it. So this is their intensive body cream, Rosa Domesena, Acai and Pomegranate. So this is what it looks like. So this is another example of the description not matching what you would expect the product to smell like. You would think it would be kind of a floral with a berry hint because rosa, acai, and pomegranate, but no. Maybe a little bit of an undertone of rose, but there is sandalwood oil in this and that overpowers the rose and the acai and the pomegranate, in my opinion. I like musky scents, so I like the sandalwood in this and clearly you're noticing a theme here. This is the exfoliant that I said smelled like patchouli. It's musky, I liked it. This one smells like sandalwood, it's musky, and I like it. This is a very, very good lotion. So I guess it kind of goes along the lines of if you think you're gonna like the scent, then you're probably gonna like the lotion. The lotion themselves are great but their descriptions are a little misleading sometimes so definitely read the ingredients list and there are so many things there's also vanilla tangerine carrot which isn't very fragrant sweet almond there are all kinds of scents in here so definitely read the ingredients and if there's something in there that you know might stand out and you don't like it then you might want to bring your attention to a different lotion of theirs the next product i'm going to talk about is their purifying body exfoliant in pearl peppermint and ilong ilong i don't know how to say that but I've seen it so many times. And that is absolutely hands down something that you can pass on. That exfoliant in particular. I think they have started to come out with others. They have definitely expanded their line of products. It has exploded. I looked at their website recently and they have so many more products than when I first discovered the brand. But that is a definitely a product that I would say just 
pass. It doesn't smell very good, maybe a slight hint of peppermint. I saw somebody, and I can't get this out of my head, and I really wanna smell some moss balls to see if that's, they're right, but I saw somebody say that they thought that it smelled like moss balls. And then it didn't really feel like it was just very exfoliating on the body. I like more vigor on my body when it comes to my exfoliants and it just felt a little bit too wimpy. And the next product I'm gonna talk about is their Age Repair Moisturizer, White Tea and Phytopeptide Extract. This was a very, very good moisturizer. I used it a couple of years ago. I haven't felt the need to run out and repurchase it. I do participate in subscription boxes and whatnot, so I have a lot of access to moisturizers. If I didn't, it is one that I would consider consider repurchasing. I have dry skin and it's a very thick moisturizer. They have a matte one that would be good if you have oilier quick skin, which I haven't tried because it wouldn't be appropriate for my skin type. But as far as a dry skin moisturizer goes, it was very nice. It was quite thick, so it was very rich, very intense. For how thick it was, I do remember feeling like I could have felt more moisturized, but I felt enough moisturized. I like it a lot. It definitely leaned more toward a night cream. And if I remember correctly, I believe you could have used it in the morning or night, but it leaned toward being better at night. Good moisturizer. The next product I'm gonna talk about is one that I have here with me. It is their Age Repair Gel Mask with pomegranate extract and peptide complex. It looks like this. I really like this. It doesn't smell like much at all. It just has kind of like a mild cooling <laughs> scent, like vapor rub maybe? No, I don't know, not really vapor rub, but that kind of feeling, that's the sensation I get when I smell this, which is lovely. So you put this on, it's extremely cooling. It's one of those masks you would use when you feel like your skin is stressed, when you feel stressed yourself, and you would put it on, and I have put this on, and practically every time I put it on, I just wanna lay back and take deep breaths and relax, and it's amazing. I didn't honestly think too, too much of it when I first, got it but then by the time I was done with it and time moved on I kept wishing I had it so that I could use it in those moments where I just wanted to sit back and relax with a nice de-stressing mask so this is wonderful stuff I really really like this one I do recommend this one it's up there with their exfoliant for me okay the next one I'm going to talk about is their deep cleansing facial mask wheat germ ginkgo and cranberry and this is what it looks like, a little bit beat up. <laughs> I have used it a lot. I have had this a long time. So the first time I used this, I thought it was just amazing. It acts like a mud mask. It smells very botanical, herbal, like you walked into a really, really lovely spa. So again, wheat germ, ginkgo, and cranberry kind of misrepresent the smell for me. I am not sure what the smell is in this that kind of takes over, but this is one of those ones that reminds me of being like in an expensive massage parlor. So I thought this was extremely clarifying as a mud mask. It worked so well. My skin felt great after I used it and it smelled so good to use. The one thing that I will say about this is that it definitely degrades over time. Mine is well past the PAO of 12 months. So when I use this now, it isn't really anywhere near as good. So if you get this, definitely use it. Make sure that you use it and you use it up. I still use this because it's still pleasant, but it's nowhere near as nice as it was when I first opened it. It's future me here realizing that I completely skipped over a product. I don't know how that happened, but I felt the need to get back on and tell you about it as well because it's important. It's so important. So I am going to talk about the Brightening Serum in Phyto Complex and Rumex Leaf Extract. For this serum, I just didn't like it and I don't want to knock this particular serum. I feel like just in general, when it comes to brightening products, I never see results. I've tried a few, I haven't been relentless, but I've tried a few and I have some pigmentation for sure. I'm not wearing any kind of foundation or anything. So if you take a moment and zoom in, you can totally see it. And I also have a lot of sun damage right here. So maybe I'm just kind of a tough client because I have a lot to work on. But as far as a brightening serum goes, I saw zero results. But like I said, that's not to knock this particular product. I've just never seen results from brightening serums in general. If 
if you know of one, leave it in the comments below. I would love to try it out. So for this product, it's a hard pass for me and I wouldn't recommend it. The next thing, I've only used this once, so this can be a first impression review. This is their enzyme exfoliant with papain and amino complex. So papain is papaya enzyme and it looks like this. This is really nice. It kind of has this similar consistency as the gel mask. So it's a clear gel type mask and it's a chemical exfoliant. It has obviously the fruit enzymes and perhaps some AHAs in it as well. I thought this was pleasant. It was kind of subtle. I didn't feel any difference after I used it at first. It could be one of those ones that you have to use fairly regularly and maybe you'll see some sort of difference after using it for a month. And it barely has a scent. So that's kind of nice. How rare is it now to find unscented products. And then the last product I'm going to talk about I don't have here with me. I used it up. It is their Age Repair Lip Treatment. Tripeptide. Tri I'm reading these and trying to act like I'm not. Tripeptide and Violet Leaf Extract. I used this up. I had the one that was clear, white, and I used it every single night before I go to bed. I um, do my best, and I'm pretty good at it, putting on some sort of lip treatment before I go to bed. It makes a huge difference in how my lips feel and how my lipstick performs, which I could use a touch up right now, I just noticed. I really did enjoy using that one. I saw some criticism for it, but I remember it was mainly people saying that the white actually showed up when you wore it on your lips. So those people must have been trying to wear it in the daytime, which I didn't. I used it as a nighttime lip treatment and in that way it worked really well. It worked great. It wasn't like the best one that I've ever used, but it was, it was up there. It was in the top, maybe even three at this point. It was in the top three. My favorite one that I've used is one from Jouer, and then there's the Copari Lip Glossy, and then the Grown Alchemist. So it probably comes in third at this point for lip treatments that I've used at night. Okay, so that was it. That's my Grown Alchemist reboot review video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the Go and Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink Grapefruit. Blah. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink, Pink, <sighs> Mothballs.